Another fact that folks seem to get wrong these days. So there are certain, again, conclusory statements about life that are simply made without any evidence whatsoever. One of the best, one of the most common conclusory statements is that radical Islam on a global level is relegated to a very small number of people. This is simply not true. There is not any evidence to support this. Now, if you want to say that terrorism is relegated to a very small number of people, that is true, right? That is statistically true. But if you want to say the belief system of radical Islam is relegated to a small number of people, that is not statistically true, and there is no data to back it up. We saw today video from Karachi, Pakistan, thousands, thousands of people marching in the streets calling for the death of a woman who had converted to Christianity, a woman named Asia Bibi. Right? This is in the capital of Pakistan, or in one of the, one of the major cities of Pakistan. Okay? Th this is not a small fringe minority in a lot of countries. In the West, where Muslim populations tend to be a lot more moderate, it remains a minority position to be a radical Islamist. That is not the case across the world. Okay, let's begin with a couple of definitional facts on this one. If Christians in the United States wanted to be governed by Christian theological law, we would call them radical Christians. Right? Just put it out there. Jews, the same thing. Right? If Jews said, I want a country that is governed strictly by Jewish Torah law, we would call them radical Jews. So if you are a Muslim and you want your country governed by strict Sharia law, this would make you, by definition, a radical Muslim. Okay, here are the percentages of radical, of radical Muslims, by that definition, who want their country to be officially governed by Sharia across the world. In Russia, 42%. Indonesia, 72%. Afghanistan, 99%. Pakistan, 84%. Bangladesh, 82%. Iraq, 91%. Palestinian territories, 89%. Egypt, 74%. Jordan, 71%. Niger, 86%. Nigeria, 71%. This is all Pew Global Research polling. But let's take an even stricter definition of what radical Islamists constitutes, if we're talking about there are very few people who have sympathies in this direction. How about support for ISIS? And this seems like a pretty good indicator that you might be radical. Okay. <laughs> Here are the percentage of people in various countries who say that they are either favorable toward ISIS or they don't know. By the way, if you say that you don't know whether you're favorable toward ISIS, you're favorable toward ISIS. <laughs> In the Palestinian territory, 16%. Indonesia, 22%. Turkey, 30, 27%. Nigeria, 34%. Malaysia, 36%. Pakistan, a whopping 71%. Now, Western Muslims, as I said up front, are significantly more moderate than their co-religionists in other areas of the world. Still, there is a problem of radical Islam in different Western countries. A 2006 poll in Britain found that 40% of British Muslims wanted Sharia law in the UK. A 2011 poll from Pew found that 19% of American Muslims said they were either favorable toward Al-Qaeda or they didn't know. 